Yeah, see you later. 21 minutes to seven. Savers could be missing out on hundreds of pounds every year because they're not getting, not got their money in the best accounts. That's the claim, at least coming from the consumer group, which... It says it's carried out research which suggests that people could be getting better interest rates. And in total, they could be losing out on almost £13 billion. Pounds. That is a lot of money. Paul Lewis from Radio 4's Moneybox program is here. Hello, Paul. Hello, Sean. Is the problem then that the banks don't tell us when the interest rate falls? No, they do have to do that now, though they didn't used to. So a lot of people are in very low-paying accounts and don't realise it. Um, and I've been looking at these figures, and do you know there's nearly, nearly one trillion pounds that we all have as a, as a nation saved up Gosh. in accounts. So if you improve that by just 1.3 per cent, then that makes the 13 billion. But of course, that assumes that everybody moves their money. And of course, if they did that, the banks wouldn't be paying. <clears throat> those good rates. The real problem is that if you look for the best rates online, as people do, what you find is the banks will give you a great rate and then a year later they'll plummet down. Um, for example, uh, Derbyshire um, has a really good rate, 3.06%, but after a year, just over a year, it goes down to 1%. ISAs are even worse. I've been looking at these. AA <coughs> has 3.5%, but after a year it goes down to half a percent you lose three percent so if you don't move your money every year you are missing out big time and even if you've got modest amounts it can mean 20 or 30 quid a year lost in interest well why aren't people doing it moving? well i think partly inertia um, <coughs> they don't know as i said if, if you've had an account a long time you may never be told so everyone watching should go and check what interest rate they're getting that's not always easy but you should check and then of course they worry about moving it how do i move it what will happen how easy is it um, but if you go onto a website like savingschampion.co.uk, that gives you the best rates and it will actually track your interest rate for you. It's a not-for-profit site, unlike the others, so it does really give you good results. Now, you say the banks are, are le <coughs> legally obliged to tell you when your interest rate falls, but well, how, how do they do that in practice? Because do they do it at the start of the term, or do they let you know just before that interest rate well, is about to plummet to... That they used to just tell you at the start. Now you will normally find with ISAs, for example, if you've got a cash ISA that you've had for nearly a year, you will be getting a letter saying that the rate will fall. Um, not in every case, but generally, depending how much you've got, they have to let you know. That's a new rule mm. brought in, I think, by Europe um, a few months ago. So they will let you know. But if you've had it in an account for years and it's on half a percent, and I say one of my colleagues at work discovered that to her horror the other day because she thought she was getting a good rate, yeah. then they, they won't tell you. They won't write to you regularly and say, by the way, you're getting a rubbish rate, you can improve it, because that's how they make their money. They make their money from people who don't move their money around. But, you know, you can get 3% or more either in a cash ISA where it's tax-free mm -hmm. or in a savings account, and everyone should look at their account and start moving We're, their money. Very quickly, though, when you move your money from one ISA to another, you've got to do it within the system. Oh, <coughs> with an ISA, yes, you can't take it out and put it back in. You lose, <coughs> lose the tax-free status. Mm -hmm. What you have to do, set up a new ISA and then say you want to transfer it from account X, and it will all be done through the banking system, and you won't lose your ISA status. OK. Right. Thanks, You're Paul. back, aren't you? I'm back at 820 so text me, text the programme, mm -hmm. emails, find out what people think. Super. Right. Thank you very much, at, Paul. P at Paul Lewis. Uh, tweet. M money they can find thing. me through Twitter, yes. 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 All right. All right. Uh, time 18, coming up to 17.